All right, so this is more the technical side of it. Let's run through that quickly. So as I said earlier, or maybe in the other video, there's a four-pass API controller. Um, and just to quickly show you on the computer side itself, it's uh, as part of the new four-pass upgrades. Um, in the four-pass folder, there will be, I'm just going to click it on type, and you'll see that there's a touch controller over here, which is uh, the program that basically controls the, the whole process in terms of the uh, mobile device versus the computer. Now, just from that point of view, um, also need to mention that it's not only for Android, it's also uh, available for Apple or uh, iOS for that matter. All right, and then going to the, the app itself, obviously it's loaded, you'll get the links on our website. And then once you get to that point, you'll see there's a tick button there that says configure server. We'll click on configure server and then we'll ask us for where the server is. In other words, what the IP address is of the server. And you'll get that once you run your 4 touch controller here. And you'll see the base server IP address is marked over there. So that's what we want on the app itself. So um, on going back to the app again, I've got my IP address typed in exactly like that and I'll submit. And once I've submitted it, I should be able to communicate fine. In fact, the way to test it is to just simply go in and type in your password, not necessarily the default, whatever password you set up on your system. And I'll say submit, and if it opens up, it's fine. You, you've got access. In other words, it's communicating. If it doesn't, like we had earlier today, go and check your firewalls on the computer. Make sure that the firewalls allows the app to actually be able to communicate because uh, it can be a problem. Then the other thing is also on the Android device, go and check in the settings and go and make sure that the IP address is within the same range. In other words, if we're using 192.168.1, dot 138 over here the, the your mobile phone or your mobile device for that matter must be in the same IP range might be a little bit technical for the average customer uh, get a network guy to help you with that otherwise give us a shot and we will try and help okay and that's from a technical point of view uh, obviously critical that your as I said earlier that it runs off a wireless network so over here I've got a sorry a four pods network here that is connected on my system and it shows it all nice and uh, connected and so forth obviously my telephone is also using that i'm not using mobile data on there versus a wireless network on this side enjoy